Social Security, FRA. Monthly benefits continue to increase after your full retirement age. How much explained right here in this video. I have all the details and what you need to know, so let's get right into it. All right, you might be looking at filing for Social Security benefits. First off, congratulations. That's a really exciting time right now and you're probably gathering as much information as you possibly can. Well, in this video, I wanna explain how much your monthly benefits will continue to increase after your full retirement age. As you probably know, you can claim benefits as early as the age of 62, you could wait until your full retirement age, or you could even push it out all the way until the age of 70, or you could possibly claim anywhere in between. Well, in this video, I wanna specifically focus on claiming benefits at your full retirement age or sometime after that, and how much your benefits will continue to increase. So let's get into it and talk about as we have a lot to discuss right here in the video. However, really, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day, doing all the research and breaking it all down into these short videos as I truly wanna help you out in any way that I possibly can. I completely recognize this is a really tough time right now. Money is very tight for the vast majority of people. That's why I'm finding all this information, bringing it to you in these videos to make sure that you're getting as much money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, or anything else going on right now, specifically focused on the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward. And also remember, I'm here for you every single day, right by your side. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right. Thanks again. I'm here for you every single day. Let's get into it and talk about Social Security, FRA, full retirement age, and how much your monthly benefits continue to increase on a monthly basis. Yeah, you heard that correctly, monthly basis. All right, so there's a lot to talk about. And here's the thing. If you've ever gone onto the Social Security website and done a little bit of searching around as in you're looking for an answer for a question, do you leave the Social Security website with answers to your questions or do you leave there with about 700 more questions? I'm guessing you probably leave there with a lot more questions, right? Let's be real for a second. That's usually the, t the, the issue when you go to the Social Security website is, you feel like I'm gonna go find this one answer and then you leave with like, hey, I'm just totally confused right now. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore, right? Well, there's a lot about Social Security. In fact, it is a very complicated and very complex program, right? There's a lot going on there. Anyway, I wanna break down one of the different aspects of Social Security retirement. Now, this does not pertain to Social Security Disability or SSI, Supplemental Security Income. This is straight up Social Security retirement benefits, okay? All right, so here's what we're talking about. Now, again, this is for those of you that are at or after full retirement age. And again, I know a lot of moving parts here. All right, so here's what it comes down to. When you hit your full retirement age, which by the way, you probably know what your full retirement age. Basically, if you were born in 1954 through 1959, as in between the, the years of 1954 and 1960, your full retirement age is going to be anywhere between the ages of 66 and 67. If you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age as of right now is 67, but that'll likely be changing. More on that in a separate video. All right, so now that you know what your full retirement age is, if you wait until your full retirement age, you will get your full benefit if you claim literally the day, the first day that you can start claiming your benefit, right? So let's just say that your full retirement age is, for example, 66 and six months. Got it. Okay. So you turn 66 and six months and you decide, I want to claim my benefit. Congratulations. By all means, do what you got to do. That is totally fine. However, you will get your maximum benefit and you'll get the benefit that you've earned over the course of your working career based on credits and all kinds of things like that, earnings and a whole variety of other situations. However, let's just say that your full retirement age, again, is 66 and six months, but you think, you look at your situation and think, you know, I'm sitting on a little bit of savings here. I don't spend a whole lot of money right now. I'm kind of good right now. I don't need to claim my benefit. I want to ride it out a little bit longer. Again, totally fine, you can do that. But here's the thing that I want you to know about that. If this, is, if this is your situation and you do wait on claiming your benefit, 
your benefits will continue to increase at a pace of 0.667% for every single month that you delay after your full retirement age. For example, let's just say that you wait a full six months after your full retirement age. You are now 67 years old. Again, remember your full retirement age is 66 and six months. You've waited six months. Now you're 67 years old. You've waited six full months. Guess what? In that six month period of time, your benefits have now increased by 4%. What it all calculates out to is 0.667% uh, every single month is how much they increase after your full retirement age prior to you filing for your benefit, right? So for every one year that you delay, your benefits will increase by 8%. By the way, I'm not talking about the annual cost of living adjustment. That is above and beyond this extra raise. So you could really be stacking up some benefits here. Another thing too as well, remember compounding, right? So let's just say that you delay your benefits by say, six month in, the, in this example that I'm giving here, your benefits have gone up by 4%. Now let's say that the annual cost of living adjustment comes in and that's gonna be another say four or 5%. Now you've effectively raised your benefits by say eight to 9% depending on what that COLA would be. Not bad, right? Now remember this much as well. Every year after you claim your benefits, you will continue to get your annual cost of living adjustment. Well, guess what? That COLA will be calculated on your base benefit as in how much you got, you know, how much you're getting when you started filing your benefit. Therefore, the base number that we're calculating the raise from, as in the COLA every single year, will be from a higher number. And obviously, as we calculate with percentages on bigger base numbers, what that means is that your raise will also be bigger. Not bad. Again, compounding at its finest, right? This is exactly what it's all about. Not bad at all. Now, let's just say this much. Remember, let's just say that you, um, in this example that I'm giving, your full retirement age is 66 and six months. And again, that's just the example I'm giving here in this video. Your full retirement age could be completely separate than that. This is just the example. However, let's just say that you examine your situation and you think, you know, I'm kind of good. I'm going to let it ride. And you decide to wait all the way until the age of 70. You can do that. You can delay all the way until the age of 70. However, filing for benefits after the age of 70, there's no benefit of doing that. So again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not your advisor, but I'm just simply telling you, waiting and waiting after the age of 70 to, to claim your benefit, there's really not a financial gain of doing that. So once you hit 70, you might want to think about claiming benefits. But again, you got to look at your own situation and figure out what is best for you. However, in this situation, just think of this. This person in the situation and the example I'm giving you has now waited three and a half years to claim their benefit. Not bad, right? So what does that mean? Remember this much as well. Benefits will continue to increase at that same pace, 0.667% every single month or 8% per year. This person in this example that I'm giving here has just increased their benefit by what, 28%? wait uh, by waiting three and a half years. Now I completely understand this is not feasible for everybody. I totally get that. I'm just using this as a hypothetical, uh, sorry, hypothetical example to show you how much benefits could increase. And remember, that's just the raise by waiting. Now that does not take into consideration the COLA on top of that, which yes, even if you are not filing for your benefits and if you have not claimed your benefit yet, you're still getting the COLA. In fact, the COLA is being applied to your benefit every single year from the ages of 62 on. Again, you see all the benefits are stacking up here? Pretty nice, right? So again, compounding at its finest. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is like the best of all the worlds, right? But again, I wanna say this much as well. This is not feasible for many people. In fact, according to the statistics, only 10% of the population waits until the age of 70 to file for their benefit. Meanwhile, 66% of beneficiaries file for their benefit before full retirement age, okay? So you can see here only about, what is that? 24% of the population or so actually waits until their full retirement age to claim benefit. So I'm just simply saying, I get it. This isn't exactly realistic for a lot of people, but you never know. And you got to know the details here. There's a lot about social security that you got to understand here because there's a lot of different details that we need to know about this because ultimately it's, it's your money, right? You paid in for years and years. Let's just be real for a second. How many years have you been working and paying into social security taxes? <laughs> how many decades? Maybe I should say rather than let's, let's uh, talk about years. Let's just say how many decades have you been working and paying in through payroll taxes year after year, tens of thousands of dollars, that you've paid in so through social security taxes. Now, guess what? It's finally time for you to start uh, claiming those benefits and getting some of that money back, right? 
So anyway, I just want to be here for you. Like I've said before, I'm here for you in any way that I can be to bring you the best information and to help you out in any way that I can so that you can make the best informed decisions on your behalf as well. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but rather I'm here to inform. I'm here to educate and literally I'm here just to help you. As I know, it's a really tough time right now. And again, I just want to be here for you in any way as possible. So here's what I want to say. Leave your comments, your questions, and your feedback down below. If you need me to elaborate on this further, of course, I can come back and I can do that in a further video. Otherwise, I do my best to read as many comments as I can, as well as answer as many as I possibly can. Um, anyway, just want to do what I can for you. So... Hope this one helps you. Also, if you know anybody else out there that is possibly on the brink of possibly, you know, claiming their benefits or they're searching for social security information, please share this video with them. That's my dedication here on the channel to help everybody who's low income, fixed income, seniors, older adults, people with disabilities. I just want to do whatever I can here. So enjoy your day. Again, please subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy, and I hope this one helps you out. I'll catch you again later in the next video.